Every year we hear of these massive wildfires that ravish parts of the West Coast. Right? It seems like California, parts of California are constantly burning. Right? And so you hear these massive wildfires, and how do they almost always begin? It's usually always a small campfire that was left unattended and just went out of control. Right? And so you've got these fires that destroy thousands upon thousands of acres, destroying forests, destroying homes and neighborhoods, killing people, right? And these fires almost always begin by a tiny campfire left unattended, right? A, a fire that, that maybe they thought they put out, but there was just some coals that were left and they catch a blaze and they end up burning thousands and millions of acres, Right? And so James is telling us here that in the same way, our tongue is a small fire that if left unchecked can set our whole life ablaze with the fires of hell. Right? Our words have consequences. And you know this to be true. We've all said things we regret. Right? We, we all say things that as soon as it leaves, as it's leaving our mouth, we want to put it back in. We all say things that we regret. We all say things that we wish we could get back. We all say dumb things, things that we uh, kind of are embarrassed about or kind of, right? We all say these things from time to time. But but, but some of you have said things that, that you don't just regret, but maybe have changed the entire course of your life by simply not, not necessarily doing anything, just saying something has changed the entire course of your life. Or maybe even words you have spoken have set your life ablaze with the fires of hell. Right? We know this to be true, that our words, they seem small and insignificant, but like the bit in the horse of a mouth, like the rudder on a ship, like a small campfire left unattended, it has massive power and influence.